Hi, and welcome to the Eco Channel, the YouTube channel for you that runs an e commerce store. In this video, we are going to connect our Wix store to Google Shopping. But before we start, I highly recommend that you keep yourself up to date with the latest news, tricks, and trends by subscribing to our channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we have to do when we are connecting our Wix store to Google Shopping is opening Google Merchant Center. We will leave a link for Google Merchant Center in the info section below. This is what Google Merchant Center looks like and we click the blue get started button. The first thing we have to do is to tell Google about our business. The first question is do you sell products online? Yes we do. We click yes and we write our website's URL. Ours is happy-sewing.com and we click the blue continue button. We then scroll all the way down this page and click create a Google Merchant Center account. Here we have to enter our business info. Our business name is happy-sewing and we are located in the United States. We then click the blue continue to Merchant Center button. Let's finish the remaining steps to get you fully set up and running. Yes, we want that, so we click continue. And we click continue again. And here we have to add our business address. And we click save. We have to add our phone number here. We have to enter the verification code and click yes. You've added your business information. That's good, so we click continue. As you can see, our domain is already verified. I will now show you how you can verify your domain. If your domain is unverified, this window will appear. And you should click add a HTML tag and copy the HTML tag below. We then go to our Wix site and we go to settings where we scroll all the way down to custom code. We click add custom code in the top right corner. And we paste the code snippets there. I recommend giving the code snippet a name so it's easier to locate it later. Make sure that head is selected. We then click apply. We go back into Merchant Center where we have to click the blue verify button at the bottom right corner. We can now read that our website Happy Sewing is successfully claimed. That's good, we click continue. And now we have to set up shipping. And on this there is no right or wrong answer. You just set the shipping that it fits you and your store. Like us we have 1 to 3 handling days from Monday to Friday. And we have around 7 shipping days from Monday to Sunday. Here we can set a holiday shipping cutoff. But we don't so we click next. Here we can add customer shipping costs. We have multiple options here. We have free shipping over a certain amount. So we click free shipping over a certain amount and we write uh, for orders below $49, I charge $4 in shipping. That is done. We click save. I click continue again. And on the next page here, we have to apply sales tax. And don't worry, I will not sit here and apply all this in front of you. I will do that later, so I click continue. And here comes the interesting part. How do we add products from Wix to Google Merchant Center? Here we have three options. Add products from your website. Add one product at a time. And we have add multiple products at once. We click add multiple products at once. And we have to add our target audience. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom and United States. And we click save. And we have to select language. And that is English. We have to name our feed. We name our feed Wix feed and we click scheduled fetch. We click continue again 
and we have to write the file name and we call it main fetch and we want Google Merchant Center to fetch this file every day at 12 a.m. Now we have to locate the file URL and to do that we go back into Wix we go to marketing and SEO we click marketing integration and we then scroll down to Google Merchant and click connect and we click get data feed and we copy this link and we paste this link under file URL in Google Merchant Center. This URL don't have a username or a password so we ignore that. We and we click create feed. Google is working on fetching and collecting all the products and applying them to Merchant Center. This usually takes between two to four days, but we continue on the setup and you can see the steps on the left hand side of the screen. Right now we are reading through Google policies and when we have read through all three pages, we can click start final review. Google will automatically start the final review as soon as they have registered products in our Merchant Center account. And we are going to fast forward a little bit and come back in a few days. Now it has gone four days and it's time to go back into Google Merchant Center and see how things are going. So we open Merchant Center and we go into products and diagnostics. And we see that we have 715 approved items and we have 320 disapproved items. So why are these items disapproved? If we only select the disapproved items and scroll down, we can see all the errors. Like here, we have um, 245 products with promotional overlay on images. We have incorrect value on 78 products. We have 10 products in violation to Google policies. So we have three unavailable landing pages for mobile and three unavailable landing pages for desktops. We are missing price value on two products and we have one crawling error. So how do we go on to fix these problems? So the first issue is an easy fix. We simply remove any overlays over the images like this. It might be time consuming because we have to do it on all 245 images but at least we know how to fix it. The other issues like incorrect value, landing pages, missing value, and website not crawled can in most cases be fixed in Google Search Console. I can show you real quick how to do it. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Google Search Console and its features, we have made a video for that as well. I highly recommend you check it out after this video. This is Google Search Console, and we start by clicking the blue start button and we will then be taken to this window. We click URL inspection. We then locate the URLs we want to recrawl. We do that by going back into Merchant Center and we click view examples. We choose the product we want to recrawl and we scroll the way down to link and we copy the link, but we have to remove the Google tag at the end of the link. Paste the link in the URL inspection window, click enter. We then click test live URL. And we then click request indexing. We can only request 10 indexing each day. So in this scenario, I recommend recrawling the entire website. You do exactly the same as you did earlier. The only difference is that we take the entire website. So in a week or two, most of these issues will be resolved in Google Merchant Center. We still have one issue left that we haven't addressed. And that is the violation of Google policies. There's usually not much we can do about the Google policy violation. Over time when Google starts trusting you, some of these violations might disappear. We also recommend that you keep a close eye on the overview window and make sure that you don't miss any notifications in Google Merchant Center. And that's how you add your products from Wix to Google Shopping. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and see you again soon.